Hi, I'm Ellie Simpson and I'm a walking netball coach for Active Sterling. I'm here today as part of the Active Sterling campaign, Keep Active at Home, Stay Well, to help give you some easy exercises you can do at home and stay connected with walking netball. These can be done inside or if it's a lovely day like it is today, get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Anyone can take part in these exercises at home, even if you've had no previous experience with walking netball. Today our session consists of four parts. First we've got our warm up, second we've got ball skills, three we've got essential movement skills and four we've got our cool down. It's up to you how you do this, you can simply follow the way that I do it or if you want to make it a wee bit harder for yourself um, you can do more reps or more sets of each of the exercises, that's completely fine. Make sure you've got appropriate clothing on, make sure you've got trainers on to help with your balance and then um, grab a little bit of water handy just in case you need it. Um, if you've got a netball that would be absolutely ideal, if not go and grab your pair of chunky socks and let's get involved. Our little warm up way, so all we're going to do is first walking forward and walking backwards and forward and backwards you can go at whatever speed you would like forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards okay next what we're going to do is we're going to do some high knees so bring the knee up like this bring them as high as you want or as low as you want just whatever you feel comfortable with keep it going so from the side, it just looks like this, bring it up. Okay, give them a wee shake. Next, what we're going to do is windmill. So big circles with our arms backwards from the side. And once we've done that a few times, we're going to change it forward. And from the side. There we go, and if you can, let's do one forward and one backwards. But if not, just stick to forward and backwards. Okay, shake your arms off. This time what we're going to do is we're going to do heel flicks, okay? Nice and slowly, arms behind and just bringing our heels up as high as we can. Keep it going. Okay, give them a little shake off and this time we're just going to lunge forward slightly. Go as low or as high as you want. So just little mini lunges, swapping the leg over each time that we do it. So from the side you should look something like this. And if you want to get lower, you can but you don't have to. Okay, and last one what we're going to do is we're going to stretch up and we're going to sweep the floor. So stretching up and sweep the floor. Stretch up, sweep the floor. So from the side, we're stretching up and we're going down, sweeping the floor. Do that a couple more times. Swapping the legs over if you want to do. Okay, so next up we're going to do some ball work. If you don't have a ball to hand, just grab a pair of your thickest uh, socks and they'll do just the job, okay? So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to do around the legs. So standing with your legs nice and far apart, we're going to take the ball and we're just going to circle it around our legs, like so. Nice and slowly, nice and steady, passing it from each hand and do that. If it's too hard bending down, what you can do is you can lift your leg up and balance if you want and put it round like that, but ideally down nice and low and passing it round our legs. So that's good, keeping it going, I'll do it from the side so you can see what that looks like as well. Brilliant, okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to do some side lunges. So we're just going to step to the side, put the ball out and lunge down. Feet together, to the other side, lunge down. That's it, keep it going. You can lunge down as low as you want, but just take it as steady as you want. A couple more. Brilliant, okay. So next what we're going to do is we're just going to flick it between our fingers. We're starting on one hand, we're going to flick it over 
to the other hand, like so. Trying to catch it on our fingertip and transferring it from one fingertip to the other. If that's too difficult, put it in the ball of your hand and pass it over that way. If it's too easy for you, take your hand really wide apart and passing it over. Okay, next one what we're going to do is we're going to hold the ball out, we're going to throw it up, tap our head and catch it. So it's going to look something like this. So throwing it up, tapping our head and we're catching it. Throwing it up, tapping our head and catching it. one more. Brilliant. Okay, so next what we're going to do, ball out in front of us, feet shoulder width apart, and we're going to do a mini squat. So pulsing down, pulsing up. Not going too low and keep it nice and steady, okay? So from the side, it looks something like this. Pulsing down and powering up. Keeping the ball out with our arms straight at all times. Let's do a couple more. Brilliant, okay. Last one for our ball skills for just now. Similar to the one that we've just done with tapping and catching. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it out, throw it up, clap our hands, and then catch it, okay? So out, up, clap, and catch. So holding it out, throwing it up, clap, and catch. So up. Tap, catch. Trying to keep the ball as close to us as we can so we're not having to chase after it. Couple more. Brilliant, and stop there for ball skills. Okay, so this time we're going to be working on our movement, okay? Some involve the ball and some don't. So starting off nice and simple, we're just going to do some lunges forward and we're going to pretend like someone's thrown the ball. So arms out as if we're ready to catch. Not lunging too far, and we're changing legs each time that we do it. Okay, this time what we're gonna do, if you can, we're gonna do it with the ball. If not, just stick to the one that we just done. But what we're gonna do, lunge forward, throw it up, and catch it. Lunge forward, throw it up, and catch it. So remember if you don't have a ball, just grab a pair of socks as well, that'll do the job. Throwing it up and catching it. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to get into our squat position that we done earlier on, nice and gentle. And we're going to go two steps to our right, pretend to catch the ball, back to the middle, two steps to the left, pretend to catch the ball again. So we're going side step, side step and catch, shuffle back. Side step, side step, catch. Shuffle back, making sure we're sticking into that squat position. And catch. And catch. Probably guess what's coming this time. Grab the ball and we're going to do the same. So we're going to do two, throw it up and catch it. Again, can't do it without the ball, that's completely fine. Uh, just continue the way we were just doing it. Back into our squat. Two, throw up, catch, and back. Do this way, throw up and catch. Sticking in that squat position. Couple more. Brilliant, okay. Done with the ball for it just now, we'll pop that down. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna be standing up straight. We're gonna side step, side step, side step and clap. Side step, side step. Side step and clap. Two, three. One, two, three. Couple more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, last one for our movement exercise is we're going to march forward for four. Uh, walking net balls already know this. We're going to hold our distance as if we're marking at four feet and we're going to hold that for four seconds, okay? 
what we're going to do is we're going to march to the floor. I'm four feet away. My arms are going up. I'm pretending I'm covering that ball. Hold that for four. And walking back. So we're doing that again. We're going one, two, three, four. Taking my distance. My arms are up. I'm covering the ball. And I'm walking back. Let's do that again. So we're going forward, two, three, four. Arms up. Marking the ball. And back. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Arms up over the ball, four feet away. And walking back. And that's our movement done. Hi, I'm Ellie Simpson and I'm a walking netball coach for Active Sterling. I'm here today as part of the Active Sterling campaign, Keep Active at Home, Stay Well, to help give you some easy exercises you can do at home and stay connected with walking netball. These can be done inside or if it's a lovely day like it is today, get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Anyone can take part in these exercises at home, even if you've had no previous experience with walking netball. Today our session consists of four parts. First we've got our warm up, second we've got ball skills, three we've got essential movement skills and four we've got our cool down. It's up to you how you do this, you can simply follow the way that I do it or if you want to make it a wee bit harder for yourself um, you can do more reps or more sets of each of the exercises, that's completely fine. Make sure you've got appropriate clothing on, make sure you've got trainers on to help with your balance and then um, grab a little bit of water handy just in case you need it. Um, if you've got a netball that would be absolutely ideal, if not go and grab your pair of uh, chunky socks and let's get involved. Okay, so we're going to start with our warm up. All we're going to do is we're going to walk on the spot. If you want to go as quick as you can want, you can walk a little bit faster or nice and steady. And we're just walking. Okay, next what we're going to do is high knees. So we're lifting our knee up and trying to tap it off your hand. If you want to lift them a wee bit lower, you can. Or if you want to go higher, then you can, just whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, next we're going to do heel kick, so our arms behind us and lifting our heels up as high as we can go. Keep it going. Brilliant. Next, let's do our upper bodies, okay? So we're going to windmill our arms backwards to start with. And let's change and go forward. Really pulling your arms up to feel that stretch. And if you can, challenge yourself and let's do one forward and one back. But if you can't do that, just stick to doing them forwards and then backwards. Brilliant. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to do opposite knee taps. So we're lifting our arms up as high as we can. And we're going to bring our knee up. Okay. Just do a couple on this leg. Good. And we'll switch over to the other leg. So arms up and tapping our knee. Just lifting your legs up as high as you can go. There we go, and that's our warm up complete. Okay, so next up is our ball skills. So if you've got a ball, brilliant, but uh, if not, grab a pair of your thickest chunky socks and you'll do just the job. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to tap the ball above our heads. So that involves putting the ball out in front of us, throwing it up, tapping our head and catching it. So out, up, tap the head and catch. Out, up, tap the head and catch. And what you want to do is keep the ball as close to you as you can. So if you just want to do a little one, then you can. If you want to challenge yourself, throw the ball a wee bit higher, tap and catch. So out, up, tap and catch. Out, up, tap and catch. Brilliant. Next we're going to do is around our legs. So we want to have our legs nice and far apart ball in our hand and all we're going to do is pass it in and out our legs in a kind of figurative eight movement okay so in and out and swapping over our hands as we do it you can be as low to the ground or as high up as you want wherever you feel most comfortable couple more brilliant okay so now we're going to do some triceps 
stretches, which involve taking our ball, we're going to go sideways for this one, putting our ball above our heads, and we're just going to pull it back. So we're really stretching our arms, okay? So the ball goes up and it goes behind our head, like so. As I turn around so you can see that. We're holding it nice and tightly above our head and pulling it back down. Brilliant. This time we're going to do some side stretches, okay? So we're going to hold the ball close to us like this and all we're going to stand with our, our legs shoulder width apart and we're just going to twist to the side as far around as you can go. Twist. So when you go, the ball goes as well, keeping it in front of us, okay? So the ball stays in front of our body at all, all times when we're twisting, we're twisting around with our side and our shoulders. Twisting round, couple more. Brilliant. Okay, so now we're going to do some little kicks. So all we're going to do, hold the ball out in front of us and we're just going to kick our legs forward. As high up as you want. And if you want to challenge yourself even more, let's hold our foot up, do a nice high kick and put it down. Foot up, nice high kick and put it down. But if you're not comfortable with that, just little small kicks. Holding the ball nice and uh, nice and in front of you. Okay, and our last one is what we're going to do. Is we're going to take the ball around our waist. Okay, this is called around the world. So it's just going round. Start off by going clockwise. After you've done that a couple of times, change and go anti-clockwise. Couple more times. Perfect. A work on our movement element so all we're going to do is we're going to march on the spot okay pulling your knees up as high as they can and making sure our arms are swinging at the same time you can go as slow or as quick as you want whatever pace you feel most comfortable at okay next we're going to do forward for two steps back for two steps forward for two steps back for two steps okay so we're going forward two back two forward two back two forward two back two forward two back two a couple more times and again whatever speed you feel most comfortable at take it at your own pace brilliant okay so next is what we're going to do is we're going to do some side steps so all we're going to do step 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 if you want add a clap in step Once more. Good. This time what we're going to do is I'm going to use the ball. If you don't feel comfortable using the ball, then you don't have to. But we're just going to forward lunge, throw it up and catch. Changing our leg over each time. And just lunging forward as far as you feel comfortable with. So lunging forward, throwing the ball up and catching. Forward, up. Brilliant. Couple more to do. What we're going to do this time is we're going to do a side step balance. So all we're going to do is step, lift our leg up and balance. You can lift it high up or you can lift it just off the ground, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Down, changing sides, so we're stepping and we're balancing. Back to flat, stepping, balancing and stepping and balancing. Once more, step, balance, brilliant, step, and balance. Okay, and this time what we're going to do is high knees, so we're bringing our knee up, tapping it off our hands. If you want to do this a wee bit lower, you can. If you want to do it higher, you can as well. Up to you, whatever height you feel most comfortable at. That's our movement part done. Okay, so now it's time to cool down after we've just done all that exercise. So 
So first off, we're going to start with shoulder rolls, okay? So we're going to roll our shoulders backwards, pull them up as high to our ears as we can. And after we've done it backwards, we can change and go forwards. So just making sure we're rolling them. Good. So next we're going to do a pencil stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our arms, and stand it at our side. We're going to put them all the way up and pass them to the top. Pull off our shoulders, turn the ears, and then hold that for a couple of seconds. So we're in the shape of a pencil. And we're going to bring it down, and we're going to do it again. So arms at our side, up, clasp, and pull them up as far as you can. Okay, next what we're going to do is a kick leg shake, okay? So we're just taking the leg out as far as you want, and we're just going to shake it off, okay? So start with our right leg, shake that for a little bit, popping it down. Doing the same with the left. And we'll swatch again. So back to the right. And back to the left. Good, okay. So next we're going to stretch our triceps. So we're going to put this arm out in front of us. Put it behind our head. And holding our elbow with our other arm. Pulling it as far down the back as you can. And we're going to hold that for a couple of seconds. I'm going to shake it off, do the same with the other one, shake it off, do the same with the other one again, and one last time, good, okay, so this time what we're going to do, take our arms, clasp them together, turn them, and push them as far away from our bodies as we can. So we're taking our arms, clasping them together, turning them and pushing them as far away from us as we can. Perfect. And one last one, we're just going to shake our whole body just to make sure everything's all stretched off. There we go, that's what's done. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed that session today and got involved with our walking netball. If you want to learn more about our group, we've got a Facebook page which is Active Sterling Walking Netball. We've got a great community online, we all help each other out to stay active by posting little videos and workouts of what we've been doing. Stay involved by following Active Sterling on Facebook and on YouTube, we'll be posting various workouts and different activities for you to get involved with in over the upcoming weeks, over this tough time, as it really is important to stay active and healthy. Um, and if you really like this session and want to learn more about netball, the Strathclyde Sirens, our professional team in Scotland, have been posting netball specific workouts on their Facebook page, which are really beneficial. So maybe give one of them a go. It's been really great um, working out with you today and thank you very much for getting involved.